guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You're here with me, Sinead, aka Sin City. And today's video was a little bit different. Me just having my birthday and reflecting on a lot of things. I thought this video would be really helpful to my subscribers and anyone across this video, but generally just like a nice little reflection on things that I learned whilst in my 20s. So I thought I'd mix it up instead of just kind of sitting here and listing off basically what I've learned within my 20s to kind of just basically make it a get ready with me at the same time. So I'm first going to start on my brows and then kind of go through the process. It is going to be quite a minimalistic makeup look because I'm not trying to like go in with foundation and all that stuff. I'm just kind of trying to go with what my skin naturally looks like and emphasize and highlight those parts of my face. I won't probably be calling out products that I'm using but I will be listing everything down in the description box below for you guys. So basically I hope you enjoy and I'm going to basically jump right in. So um, 29 things I learned within my 20s. So I thought this video would be really fun to do just because I've recently just turned 30 and I was at the age of 29 and I was like I know there's 29 things that I definitely have learned within my 20s so let me just write them down which I've kind of been doing for a little while and then I thought that I basically would put this video up for you guys either before my birthday or just after but lo and behold it, I feel like it's happening just after so the first thing that I feel like I learned in my 20s which is kind of something that you just should know but you probably don't think about it too often is that at each second of the day that is the youngest that you'll ever be simple and plain fact is that that literally is what it is like every day every minute every second every hour you're getting older so i just found that just to kind of be like a whoa <laughs> kind of moment no relevance of order to these i'm just kind of listing them out and um, as i wrote them down taking time for yourself and learning to enjoy your own company or space is valuable to your own personal growth now that one i feel like i really did learn because i generally was that adolescence that would always like most adolescents would want to be around their friends want to be like out at the latest this and that want to be showing face everywhere you know i feel like everyone kind of goes through that and as i started to kind of get into my 20s i realized i don't want to be around this and that i don't want to be overly in every space all the time and sometimes just taking time for myself which was something i learned i feel like around my 23 ish mark um, of life was realizing like actually taking time for yourself and being in your own space is just as valuable to your personal growth as it is in socializing with your friends and your family because i wrote these all down like i'm gonna have to keep like switching my phone on and off Ooh, this is something that i feel like i learned kind of around my mid 20s but working out and going to the gym is actually really good to clear your mind and relieve stress because i was never a gym head i will be real like my real journey started probably like back in 2017 like like going repetitively to the gym so i feel like that was one of those ones that i learned really late in life but once i started going and enjoying the process of actually going and working out i realized like it makes for a whole better like mindset just when you wake up just how you progress throughout the day don't wait to do things even if it's on your own go out to eat travel pamper yourself do it that is something again that i feel like i probably learned towards the end of my 20s in my adolescence and obviously in my early 20s that I would feel like I would always have to do things with people like even just traveling or going out to eat like I generally couldn't eat on my own somewhere like couldn't go to Nando's and sit down and eat on my own like I just wouldn't do it like as being younger I used to feel it was really embarrassing sitting down eating on your own why would you do that like and if I was sitting down eating on my own please believe I'd be on the phone to somebody so that I didn't feel like why are you sitting eating on your own um, and again, it was just a mind shift and getting older and just realising that spending time with yourself is really like the most valuable and productive thing that you can generally do and learning to enjoy your own space. And also just going through the processes where you're like, I want to do something, I want to go somewhere and your friends or your family or whoever you're trying to do it with is taking the utmost time about doing it. So you're like sit there and you end up not doing it because everyone that you want to do it can't do it for whatever personal reasons life circumstances their own stuff as to why they can't do what you want them to do currently with you which feels like quite a selfish thing but more times than not when you go on a girls trip you want all your girls to come so it's like just understanding that you can do things on your own and really time waits for no man so if it gets smaller and that's okay because it's always quality over quantity this is a real thing i feel like for most people generally when you're in school even college you have a whole bag of people around you all the time like in terms of friends like you'll look at your social media and things like that you probably have got loads of people on from your school from primary school from secondary school but as you get older and you go through life not everyone stays and that's really okay because at the same time you always want to have 
good quality people around you instead of having a mad amount of people around you. So that was something that I learned in getting older. Like it doesn't mean anything just because certain people aren't here anymore or feel like you've got quite a small clique and you haven't got like a mass lot of friends because it doesn't matter how much friends that you have. It matters on who's around you and who actually is for you because a lot of people sometimes have a lot of people around them but those people aren't really here for them all the way. I feel like I'm taking so long on my brows and I really shouldn't be. It's because I'm talking. I can't really do two things at once. <laughs> Recovering after a night out takes a lot longer in your mid to late 20s than it does in your adolescence and early 20s. Like, please believe that if you are not feeling it already. Like, I don't know how I got the energy or where the energy came from when I was younger to fully be able to go out all night come back in early hours of the morning get like a four hour sleep in and go to work work like eight hours standing up in retail selling something to somebody then probably go out again that night and then die on like the sunday and then get back up and go to like college or go to work or whatever it was that i was doing around those ages it's like i don't know where the energy came from <laughs> like i don't and it's mad because you realize as you get older that the energy is just not there it's not the same so it's just such an interesting thing that you kind of like oh my god like what happened like how is that a thing but it is <laughs> Also, you get older, but you still feel as young as you did when you are in your 20s. So in, even though you're getting older, you still feel as like young as you did in your early 20s, but you just are wiser. So like now that I'm 30, I don't feel like I'm 30. Like I don't. Um, I don't really know what I'm supposed to feel like, but I know that I feel wiser in myself. I have more experiences within life to be able to make better judgments for myself in going forward. So I feel like that is something that it's just when your parents would always say to you like still 21 it's like yeah they probably are because leave please believe like you don't feel older you just obviously get older and sometimes you look older but generally you don't probably feel it but let me just do this otherwise i'm probably gonna never finish these brows really most definitely should have went in with a smaller brush but i'm just out here being lazy and just grabbing like what's near me and hoping that i can just do a good job with it it is what it is. Life is a beautiful chaos. So this one kind of came to me in the fact that I, again, am a person who feels like I always want to know what's happening and when it's going to happen. Like, I am that person. I can't help it. Like, I feel like as much as I'm present, I also try and live a little bit in the future, <laughs> which is a weird space to be in. But again, it's just one of those ones where I think most people do. You try and plan ahead as much as you can. Um, but at the same time, you are obviously living presently and currently. So with that one, I realised, like, there's no point worrying and stressing about what is going to happen because or you can plan things, but, like, only to some degree because life is a beautiful chaos. So what's going on right now in the world, no one would have ever guessed that it might have happened. You know, there might have been a few conspiracy theorists, <laughs> but generally you wouldn't really think that what's currently happening would have happened earlier in the year you wouldn't think that we'd be here so somewhere within the chaos there is some sort of beauty even if it doesn't feel like it off the bat don't take yourself too seriously because your quirks are what make you like literally embrace it all like i think again when you're younger you always feel like you know you've got to put on like you are i don't know like you feel like you kind of want to always put your like your best foot forward to some degree so if you are quite a quirky character sometimes i feel like people try and like suppress that character within inside themselves a little bit and i just feel like there's no point in doing that because that's what makes you unique that's what makes you who you are and to be fair like people are probably going to love you even more in you showing like your little quirks and your weirdness so one of mine is like i randomly will like break out into different accents like i just do weird things like and i might not always show it on camera but my peoples and my friends and my family and everyone that's around me like on a day-to-day -day basis know that i have like really probably weird quirks about me to some degree I feel like most people do so it's one of those ones where like never ever like dim your light and don't have those quirks because those quirks are basically what make you and like obviously your character Confidence, I believe, as well, is something that comes with age. Like, I really do think that the older you get, the more confident you become because you know yourself better. Generally, where I feel like confidence stems from, just from you having a better understanding of yourself, what you like, what you don't like, what you're willing to put up with, how you're willing to move in situations, carry yourself through life. And that confidence generally probably builds up through you through age and life experiences and just having all of life i guess 
Let me see, I'm just gonna go over my brows. I should have done this before I did the concealer part, but it's okay. It's okay. Self-love is vital to your personal growth. You can't fill anyone else's cup if your cup is half empty. And I believe that to be so true. Like, you need to like refuel yourself so that you can obviously give the best of yourself to others. And I feel like you need to some degree be in like a good place with yourself. Oh, and... so this one, this one is something that I live by. List making is good for keeping tabs on your short term and long term goals, but it's also really good for manifestation. So if you believe in manifestation and you believe in like kind of speaking into existence what it is that you want and where you want to go in life and your goals, generally i feel like writing them down is a good way of helping that manifestation to manifest itself literally on paper you can see it you can read it and i feel like that all helps with part of making your dreams become a reality um and also like i said it's a good way to like keep track on like your long-term and your short-term top term goals because you could just go through and tick them off as you're going through and it's kind of nice to look back and be like oh my god like i wrote this in such and such a year and i've achieve this this and this and like it's just it's just a good way to like look back on life and your achievements no matter how big or small they may be it's always speak your goals and dreams into existence like they go hand in hand like literally if you're going to be writing them down speak them into existence if you're going to be speaking them into existence write them down pensions and savings are very important so do not sleep on these and make sure you have something in place like generally like once you're in your 20s like i feel like everyone wants to talk to you about pensions and all this kind of stuff and yeah it's because it's important, like I'll be real, it really is because it's important. After 20, you probably need to start thinking to some degree a little bit in the future, like for your older self and how you want to maintain yourself. I know it's hard to be saving when you're in your 20s because you're probably not making like massive amounts of money. Um, and obviously if you are, you kind of want to enjoy the money that you are making and spend it and like live because you know, like you're making your money and you want to live. I'm fully here for it, but if wherever you can, like do little saving schemes like i find these things um on like pinterest and stuff where it'll be like you save a pound like a day or something and it like set it up so like automatically direct debiting every day out of my account would be like on one day would be like a pound then the second day would be like two pound or the third day would be like three pound you can find things like that or if you know you get paid like if you want to put like away every month like i don't know like a hundred pounds or fifty pounds or even twenty pounds like whatever you feel like you can afford to put away like each month and just put it into an account where you don't touch it trust me savings are important because you just don't know if there's going to ever be a rainy day and if you really might need it or if you have a passion or a dream or something that you want to do you can invest into it because you've saved your own money to put into idea that you have you can actually back your idea because you've saved and you've you've done it so savings are most definitely important for that reason and then pensions are just important for when you get older and your general living so it's something that you should think about um and if you aren't already enrolled into it because i believe that the uk does this somatic enrollment um then speak with like your work or speak with like hr speak with whoever you can speak to in your current employment to find out what you can do in regards to pension if you haven't if you're not aware of it or if you um haven't got something in place you can also do private pensions as well trust your gut and if it feels right take the risk seriously trust your gut there's a lot of times where you'll probably want to do something and you'll get a feeling and that feeling is your intuition kind of letting you know if it's a good or a bad thing and i feel like as you grow through life and the more that you listen to it you'll start to understand and recognize what a good feeling feels like and what a bad feeling feels like so i would just say like if it feels good go with it trust it do it do it like because you will never regret the gut feeling when it's a good feeling and there's been a lot of situations that i've experienced or gone through where i've trusted like my gut in a good way and i've done stuff that i would never have thought that i would have done so i can only be thankful for it and choosing to go with it this one's a big one because i feel like this is something that a lot of people struggle with um and a lot of people feel like if they do say what they're saying they have to give an exclamation it's okay to say no and just no. <laughs> like, it is okay to say no and just no. You don't have to explain yourself. You don't have to tell people the reason why you're saying no. If you don't want to do something, you don't want to go somewhere, you don't want to be present with whatever it is, and that's not where you're trying to be or what you're trying to do, it's okay to say no. I like, too many people feel like they owe people an explanation, and trust me, like, in life, you just don't. Like, you really, really don't. And I mean that in, like, not a, like, a harsh way. Because I feel like in some situations, obviously, like, you can say, <laughs> no, like, I can't come, or no, I'm not going to do this for, like, whatever the reason is. But generally, when it comes to, like, those toxic behaviours with people, 
and you're not about it anymore and you want to do something different or whatever whatever for, to better yourself it's okay to be like no and just say no you know you don't need to be in a relationship to feel happy like enjoy the time that you're single because you can be as selfish as you want because it's only you like that's the only person that you have to think about so enjoy it <laughs> like enjoy it i feel like too many of us want to rush to be in a relationship too many of us want to rush to feel part of something and a lot of the time you don't you don't even need it like it's not even like beneficial for your own personal growth you know like it's just something to to, to do and to to have um this is bronzer by the way because i'm really not trying to like go in on my face hammer today it's really okay to like enjoy being single like in whatever way that that is for you like if you want to go out and meet people and you're that kind of single or you're the single that's trying to be recluse and not overly speak to too many people or even like you're not ready today like whatever stage and level of singleton you are like enjoy it like enjoy it because you'll go through all of the stages you'll go through the stages where you want to speak to people and you want to go out and you want to mingle you'll then go through the stage of being like actually i've had enough of that like i want to chill i want to get to know myself more or i want to get to know this person more or you'll go through the process of being like I'm not trying to be in a relationship at all you go through all the stages like you really really do so enjoy them <laughs> and embrace them all and whatever stage that you're at just be comfortable with it and don't even try and rush back into something or in something because honey guaranteed it's not something that you really need trust me <laughs> celebrate yourself there's nothing wrong with being proud of your accomplishments and achievements don't dim your light for anybody like do not dim your light for anybody and this is something that as i say real thing because i feel like people find people do things and like they're happy about the things that they do and they maybe don't want to share it too much because they feel like people might feel a way about it and i'm just like girl be proud of your achievements of your achievements be proud of what it is that you offer and you bring to the table be proud of everything that you do so if you've achieved something and you're super happy about what it is that you've achieved that goal yeah tell the world if you want to tell the world you know what i mean like don't dim your light for anyone don't go into a room thinking you've got to dim your light like you were you, you've achieved what you wanted to have achieved and you're proud of that, so be proud of it, you know? Situations in life I feel like more determine who's really down for you as opposed to time. So I feel like for a very long time I used to think that in like knowing someone for a long time, like having about X amount of years with this person or that person, like men like a something and to some degree it does but I feel like again it really depends and varies really it's a situation in a situation you will know who's really down for you who's really about you and who's really for you i think more as opposed to time and that's just due through to my own personal circumstances where people that maybe i haven't known for very long have maybe had my back more than someone who i maybe known for a lot longer it's just how things play out and how life is because again life is full of surprises but at the same time just feel like that's sometimes how you can tell who's really down for you in the cause i'm gonna set my face really quickly Whew. okay so while this dries down i feel like i can run through a good few of these really quickly because i feel like i'm taking all day you can't expect everyone to behave as you would in a situation so that was something that i learned again i feel like probably towards the late 20s but i learned like a lot of things that i would do in situations or how i would move or how i would approach a situation like i might expect that from somebody that i might be going through that situation with to kind of move in the same way because you feel like oh like we go way back and you know like we're similar people and all this kind of stuff but no 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 people are always going to move how they're going to move no one's going to ever probably move in the same way that you would to a situation um and i feel like in understanding that that's how you need to to, to recognize that you can't have any expectations upon anyone because people are always going to do what they want to do people are always going to move and have the, the way in which they want to move and i feel like to have that expectation on somebody to not move a certain type of way or behave a certain type of way because you've known them for x amount of years or you're this or that to them kind of is is setting yourself up for a little bit of disappointment annoyingly and sadly but it is and i feel like that's the reality of it and that's kind of where um, something that I learned and like in learning it it was a big it was a big deal for me to learn it at that time so yeah I feel like if anyone could have told me that and that would be something that I took in fully that would have been probably the one that I would have been like thanks for the heads up but going through the life experiences that I've gone through 
it's just it's just made me see it and understand it a lot better maybe even if people were saying it you first and foremost you are the bag like don't ever let anyone tell you different girl don't let anyone tell you different you are the bag you need to make sure that you secure it you need to make sure that you have everything intact you are like putting as much energy and as much love and as much everything back into yourself because it is all about you and you are the bag like don't ever forget it you are the bag um, happiness is a way of life and not a destination do and live happy like i feel like that's pretty self-explanatory like do things that make you feel happy try and live in a way that makes you feel happy if anything is making you feel unhappy like obviously you're going to have down days you're going to have things that aren't 100% great because we don't live in like fairies and unicorns type universe but at the same time it's a way of life and it's trying to maintain being happy instead of just thinking oh i want to be happy and get to happiness like because that isn't there's a bridge that needs to be walked to from you get to one to the other essentially i'm just going to put mascara on my bottom lashes you do not need any outside form of approval to know what you're doing and where you're going is correct like be your own cheerleader like i can't say that enough because i feel like a lot of people are always looking for outside validation and outside opinions to kind of help them navigate in their way of life and you don't need any of that like be your own cheerleader as much as the people can well wish you which is obviously lovely and it's nice when people recognize and do you give you that support and encouragement but generally you need to always make sure that you've kind of got that coming from yourself because you're the person that needs to motivate and push the wheel you know it's not talent it's timing this one was one that i recently heard off of giveon's ep I came across like a video of his um, which is stuck on you and then it made me start listening to his album and finding out more about him and going down the rabbit hole and um, listening to the outro and so that it's not talent it's timing and I do believe that like I do believe a lot of things happen in life is down to timing and trusting the process not thinking about it just do it there's so much things that in life people just think about and they never actually get around to executing and doing because they're just like oh i'll get around to it but it's an idea that i have like do it do it if it feels good like i said way back when you want to do it it's a passion of yours it's a goal of yours stop wasting time and go ahead and do I feel it like in my 20s i started actually like learning and becoming more spiritually awoken my sister who's older than me was always talking to me about these kind of things when i was younger and i was like yeah it kind of was like going in one ear and going out the other like i'll be honest and that wasn't in a rude way it's just i feel like i wasn't ready to hear what she was trying to say get on and understand it in a, a real way to therefore be receptive to it and therefore i feel like generally in my early 20s when she kind of was the more that she spoke to me about things and the more that i kind of had a perspective on life was the more that i feel like my spiritual awakening started actually happening you're a lot stronger than you think you are like that is what your 20s show you. You're going to make mistakes, you're going to live and you're going to learn by them. But you grow and you love yourself more every day because of it. Because you understand yourself more and you know what it takes basically to show up and be you. And I feel like those are 29 things that I fully learned within my 20s. I'm literally going to go ahead and do my little lip combo and then sign you guys all on out. So yeah, basically we've now reached the end of 29 things that I learned in my 20s. I hope that you liked this video. I hope that you found it to be informative. I hope that you learned something. If there's anything that I missed off the list or that you feel like I could add, then please comment them below because I'd love to know what other things that maybe I potentially missed that were like obvious ones or things that someone else has learned in their 20s and I could maybe relate or others relate to. Um, so yeah, share it all down below. And I hope that you like this little look that I put together for y'all. Like it was really quick. Like obviously as you can see, I haven't didn't really go into full-blown makeup makeup but just did a little little shine but um yeah i hope you like this video if you do please be sure to give it a thumbs up um and i look forward to seeing you in my next video i feel like i haven't actually shown you guys though really quickly my hair like girl your girl has inches she has a whole bag of inches that she hasn't actually really showed so maybe i might do a video because I haven't actually done that and I feel like the sunlight is going and we're losing daylight so I, as much as I want to do it for you today I feel like I don't know if it's going to be it's going to look great. We'll make that a video. I will show you my new hair and actually do a hair video because I feel like this style is, needs a hair video so yeah but anyway I'm just rambling now. <laughs> If you haven't already clicked off, thank you. shout you out, girl. Shout you out if you haven't already clicked off. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in my next video, guys. Bye. 
Um, I'm trying to think about what I want to do on my lips. I just love having lashes. I can't even lie. The quickness of getting ready. Woo! 